Torrential rain and violent thunderstorms have brought apocalyptic scenes to Dubai, with parts of the UAE brought to a standstill by heavy flooding. Video shows luxury cars submerged in deep water and waves buffeting the traffic, while high-end muscle cars and Teslas were seen struggling through the floods, as city authorities advised people to stay home. More than 4.7 ins of rain has already fallen today the typical yearly average in the city, with more expected in the coming hours. Nearly 50 flights in and out of Dubai have been cancelled since this morning, with shocking video showing several jets cutting through murky water at Dubai International Airport, the busiest for international travel. Flood water cascaded through luxury underground malls, while shoppers in designer clothes waded through water. Above ground, howling winds blew furniture off tower block balconies, while the skies turned black with apocalyptic videos showing lightning strikes every few seconds. Unstable weather conditions are expected to continue in the region through to Wednesday, UAE's National Center of Meteorology said. A clip shared on Twitter showed an entrepreneur trapped in his Rolls Royce in Dubai as deep water flooded the road. My Rolls Royce got flooded and we're stuck in the middle of the road in Dubai, he wrote. Just like all my friends in crypto today, I am underwater, he posted in a follow-up. Underground, video showed water crashing through the ceiling of a flying tiger, as shops began to flood and infrastructure buckle under the pressure. Products were blasted out across the shop floor as water poured from the ceiling, bystanders helpless to act. Bus services were promptly set up after water rushed into the on-passive metro station, causing severe disruptions. Video shared online showed people wading through ankle-deep water many removing their shoes to trudge through the flooded station. Above the city, Dubai's sky is usually electric blue and cloudless dark into night-like conditions in mid-afternoon, as a second storm front blew in. Lightning flashed across the sky earlier today, occasionally touching the tip of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. And patio furniture was seen falling from high-rise buildings, as strong winds rocked the city through Tuesday. Authorities sent tanker trucks out into the streets to pump away the water, but some inland areas of the desert country recorded more than 80 millimeters, 3.2 inches, of rain, approaching the annual average of about 100 millimeters. Rain is not common in UAE, but occurs periodically during the cooler winter months. Many roads and other areas lack drainage for managing floods. The Weather Board urged residents to take all the precautions and to stay away from areas of flooding and water accumulation in a post on X, formerly Twitter. A total of 17 inbound and outbound flights were cancelled during the morning, and three were diverted, Dubai Airport said in a statement. Operations at Dubai International Airport, DXB, were later suspended for 25 minutes on Tuesday, due to an intense storm, the airport said in a statement this afternoon. The airport later confirmed intentions to continue operating departures as normal, but said arrivals would be temporarily diverted until weather conditions improve. Some residents were told to shelter if they felt in danger or were asked by authorities to do so. Police and the military were sent out to help evacuate citizens in the hardest-hit province of ash Sharkia North, state media reported. Bahrain was also hit by heavy rain and flooding, after being pummeled by thunder and lightning overnight.